Well, hello. I want to do something a little different today. Instead of reviewing a pen, I want to talk about a notebook and some paper and a little flap of cow skin. So let's take a look at the Traveler's Notebook. If videos like this interest you where I talk about fountain pens, both new and old and at all price points, and stationery and inks and those kind of things, I would invite you to subscribe. If you'd like to comment on this notebook or other things brought up in the video, I would invite you to leave a comment down below. So let's take a look at this. What you're looking at here is a Midori Traveler's Notebook. At least that's what it was called when I bought it. Since I bought it, I've been thinking, oh, I need to do a review, I need to do a review, and I never get around to it. And so I decided to do a review today. Mainly because I'm in Fargo and taking pens that are reliable with me and not new pens that, yeah. Anyway, the side issue. So what you're looking at here, the note, what you get when you buy a, a traveler's company traveler's notebook is you get this flap of leather you get a strap for it you get inside I gotta be careful here but you get some binding material a bookmark which I'll get to that and then I think I showed you the the strap and you can see mine's a Midori had a little bit of a strong leather smell when I got it but I've had it for probably four years I think I bought it before I even got into doing fountain pen reviews. Uh, I've had it for a long time. And they were quite a craze for a long time. The, the novelty is worn off, but people still buy them because they're, they're good notebooks. They come in two sizes. This one, let me put a pen by it for scale. This is the regular size. There's also a passport size, which is, I don't know, about that tall maybe. So that gives you an idea of the size. Uh, so when it first came, I had this thought of, that's a really expensive piece of leather you just bought there, Mr. Squirrel. But <clears throat> there's actually a like almost a cult on these things. Uh, one thing is people are all into how they age, the leather ages over time. It develops its own personality. A lot There are a whole, whole host of extras that people put on them. I'm not into that kind of thing, so there are no extras. But there's like pen loops, little decorative figurines, little ch tchotchkes and so on you can put on. Eh, not me. Uh, inside, you can kind of see how the, the binding works that holds these notebooks in. Well, it actually only holds the central notebook. The other notebooks are held by, uh, anyway, there, there's a strap between the notebooks there and in the middle. Let me just double check this page because I didn't. Oh, yeah, this is a safe page there that holds these notebooks in place. And people will do one, two, up to three notebooks. There's, you can get little portfolios. You can get uh, plastic envelopes. I like this little folder thing that I put around the outside of this notebook. All kinds and they just come sort of like this this is actually what I have in the front of the notebook it's a very thin page thin paper type of notebook uh, this I kind of think it's Tomoe River paper although I don't know that this is actually going into the notebook once I get done here this is a calendar you have to do your own calendar uh, they sell daily, monthly, weekly calendars, different formats. Uh, I like that you have to number them yourself for several reasons. One is, I'm a teacher, so I go by an academic calendar. That makes more sense to me than putting in a calendar in January. I, My slow time is, well, you would think, should be summer. So this is next year's, even though I messed up on the year on a couple of the pages. I also always use one of these. Now I've intentionally kept it blank so I can show you how I use it because that's part of what this is all about. But it's a graph paper notebook. And just for fun, although I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet, I purchased a notebook full of sketch paper. Well, let's get the 
few things out of the way first. Obviously, price is no good, but it, la it should last me a long time. Another thing people don't like is this that holds it shut. So you're writing, oh, uh, somebody's phone number, so I gotta hide that. You're writing on a knot when you write. It's right there, I can feel it through the paper. So when I'm writing on a table like this, it gets in the way. But honestly, I never write with it like that. I'm more likely to be holding it in my hand and writing with it, or possibly in my lap, which I guess you can't see my lap. But I, I'm very unlikely to be actually flat on a desk with this particular notebook, because that's not what it's for. This is a notebook meant to travel and go with you. Hey, it's going with me to Fargo, even though I won't be taking notes in it in Fargo, because this is my planner and my uh, catch-all. And that's really what I want to do this video about. So I told you I've got this folder around the very first notebook. I have different things in it, a copy of next year's school calendar, dentist appointment, uh, business card, and so on. Uh, different things like that go in there. So this notebook has, if you like Tomoe River paper, it just has that. Now I'll just page really quickly. You saw the word garden there. Just random stuff goes in here. Really random. Um, ideas as I have them when I'm out and about. Uh, thoughts on things. Um, garden ideas. All that. And it's, let me go to a blank page because there is some personal stuff in here. There, this is nice and blank. So I'll just grab, I don't know, let's grab this really wet Lamy pen. Now this is very thin paper, so of course uh, it just bleeds right through. Or it doesn't bleed right through, it shows through. But it's not going to bleed through. As you can see, it shows through because it's thin paper but it doesn't bleed through. Drawback is it is a little slow to dry as I'm seeing right now. Talk on it. I'll have to edit this out. Hurry up, I want to turn the page. Well, this is why blotter paper was invented, right? Well, if it smears, it smears. Now, uh, this is more what the video is about. With this, this monthly calendar, phone is ringing upstairs. I'll bet it's not important because I they, uh, I've been getting a lot of calls from Nielsen. They want me to do something with radio and I just really don't care. So we'll just ignore the ringing phone. Uh, but anyway, this academic calendar, I like, I what I'll do is I like to plan things out. Now I intentionally have not written anything in this, but like I would have last week, you know, got, well, why don't I write it in? I probably would not use this pen because it is kind of wide. Um, Governor's Summit. Um, Marsha Tate class. And it's great because you plan it way ahead. And I just like to do that. Then it's easier for me to plan things and say yes or say no because I know what's going on. And I can look and say, oh, yeah, I'm free that day. Or, oh, yeah, no, that's going to be a bad day. Very handy. This goes with me every day. Other things in this notebook. A little bit of blank paper. There's a travel plan that I've honestly never used. In the back, a departure card again. Don't do anything with it, but I suppose if you're traveling, it's handy. And then a couple of blank sheets for notes or things like, you know, my dentist appointment, that, which is in September of this year, is written on these pages in the other one, the one that I'll be replacing. And a world map with time zones, roughly. And then the graph paper notebook, which is where I want to spend the bulk of my time. So I didn't do it yet, I need to write the dates here. Table of contents, I actually usually end up forgetting about that. I, you know, it's there. And then I'll write, kind of inspired by a bullet journal. And I'll put a link to the bullet journal website down below. But I will put number each, day of the month, 
Right beside it, I'll put the day of the week, and then I will put what's going on that day. Uh, it's kind of a copy of the monthly calendar, I know, but then it's right there. So let's see, what did I do? Marcia Tate. Oops, that was actually there. So this is actually the Governor's Summit. So if I were to show you the real thing, you'd see it's a lot better. It's a lot more filled out. But oh, there's a lot of personal stuff there, so I'm not going to share that. Uh, June tasks. Again, <laughs> I've intentionally left this blank. But uh, one of the big things for June was drip tape in my garden, which is installed, so I can mark that off. Uh, plant garden was actually in May, but the drip tape was a June thing. Uh, cl classes, ooh. I will put this as a task to do. Fountain Pen Stores in Fargo. Now I'm writing this so you can see what nice paper this is. As you'll see there, it's not feathering. When I turn the page, now this is not the Tomoe River style paper, it's thicker. It's not bleeding through. So it's, it is a little more absorbent though because it's actually dried. Now I'm going to switch to a different pen because this is making me a little crazy. But uh, here's what I do usually in the evening or in the morning. I'm trying to make it a regular habit for a certain time of day but that hasn't quite worked out. So what is today? I already forgot today's date. Today is the 10th. I will write the day, so Sunday, June 10th, and got a few things to do. I have to do pens in use. Well, that's already filmed, so we'll mark that off the list. I have to pack. That's already done. Uh, I have to film. Midori review, even though it's not a Midori anymore, I'm in the habit of calling it a Midori. That's still in progress. Uh, I'm, I may have things to list. Uh, you know, I may have... Um, I'm making one up right now. And I, I like this. I, I will put you know, a grocery list in here if I'm going to the store. Uh, I, a lot of different things. I use this heavily. If I lo lose this, I will probably cry. Uh, my life is in this thing. It keeps me organized. And it's the nice thing about this bullet journal format is it's very flexible. I can use it in any way I want. They're no longer called Midori notebooks, but this is a very flexible type of notebook that's a good carry it with you type of notebook. I, uh, I feel like it is an overpriced piece of leather. And yet, if I've had it for five years, that's $10 a year, the cost starts to balance out. Uh, you, you do have to buy the refills from time to time. They're not cheap, but they're high quality, and they last. So, uh, on the whole, I think it's a very good notebook for its purpose. Now, if you're looking for a nice desk journal, probably not. This is gets thrown in your bag, gets carried with you. You write on it when you're on a crowded bus or train or you know, on city street or something. This isn't for sitting at your desk with. Um, if something happened to this, like I said, my life is in here, I would probably ball, and I would immediately buy another one. Uh, I like it that well. 
So yeah, would I buy another one? Absolutely. And the cost really does work out. Now this is my organizational scheme. Uh, one thing that might be interesting is if we talk about different organizational schemes. If you look into the bullet journaling, he's actually got into a lot of different things that I never really got into. Uh, I, uh, he, there's a lot more to bullet journaling than what I do. This is what works for me. Helps me remember to do things. And we'll call that good enough, right? So uh, I hope that was interesting. Hope it was useful. And if videos like this interest you, where I talk about fountain pens, both new and old and at all price points, I would invite you to subscribe. And of course I talk about stationery and ink as well. Uh, if you'd like to talk, or sorry, if you'd like to comment on anything you saw today, or perhaps talk about your organizational method. How do you do a planner? Maybe you do it electronically. Please feel free to leave a comment down below. So I thank you for watching. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.